Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So, uh, <clears throat> sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. I've been trying to get around to it. I'm just really busy. I don't know about you, but I'm busy. Uh, and of course, uh, the Maxitronics uh, uh, projects, uh, I've made them very difficult for, for me to do because uh, uh, as well as the, as the uh, construction and the testing that I've been doing since the beginning, I'm now planning to do the spice simulations and perhaps even a PCB design and build. Um, and in order to do the spice simulations, I need to learn LT spice software. Uh, and in order to do the PCB uh, design and build, I need to l learn the KiCad software. So I'm, I'm learning all of these software systems and um, uh, I, I, I'm uh, not really uh, uh, ready to sort of uh, hit that yet. So yeah, I made, the, I made the Maxitronics projects just a little bit hard to do. <laughs> so uh, that's why I haven't been getting them done. Uh, but I have some really good news and uh, that's why I'm doing this video now. Um, I just wanted to let you know about an exciting development for the channel. Um, I was talking to, I, I managed to get in touch with uh, Nicholas Vinen, the editor of the Silicon Chip magazine. Um, if you don't know about Silicon Chip, it's, a, it's a, an Australian electronics magazine. Um, but it, it punches above its weight. It's well and truly world-class uh, magazine. If you're an electronics hobbyist, you should definitely uh, subscribe to this magazine. I do, and I have for a long time, and I love it. Um, it's, uh, it's really serious business. Uh, they've always got some really interesting articles about technology, and, uh, and they've got a bunch of projects, and they're pretty sophisticated uh, projects as well. Um, but they've just started the, uh, a new um, a new feature of the of the silicon chip magazine are uh, the mini projects that uh, that they've just introduced. This is the May two thousand and four issue, um, and uh, it's the first issue to contain the mini projects. Now, I spoke to them at the magazine, and they said that they're happy for me to make videos based on the mini projects. So it's, it's, it's a match made in heaven, isn't it? Um, the mini projects <coughs> um, are, are perfect for us uh, to do as, as electronics projects on the channel. So I'm planning to do all of the silicon chip mini projects on the channel. They're, they're just starting. They're starting in May. Um, I don't know if I've got my June copy yet, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll start in May. And um, and and uh, it, it, if I can do two, two or three projects a month, uh, that's around about one every two weeks, ish. I can probably do it. So um, the thing about the mini projects is they're small, which is good because some of the the projects that the like the proper projects in this magazine, they're big projects, very. Um, uh, sophisticated whereas these mini projects they're uh, pretty easy um, so I thought uh, in this uh, video today which is just really an announcement about the mini projects uh, special shows that we'll be doing uh, I thought I might um, throw you over to the bench and we'll just take a quick look at the three uh, inaugural mini projects that are in this um, magazine we're not going to do any mini projects today but we'll have a look at the three that we will be doing, um, and we'll just kind of, uh, I'll give you a bit of a taste of, 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 of what I'm planning. So let's, uh, let's pop you over to the bench and let's have a look at the magazine together. All right, here we are on the bench. Now this is the magazine. It's uh, <coughs> the May 2004 issue. Uh, it's got a it's got a feature article is on computerized traffic management. So uh, now it says the three minute project starting on page sixty, um, and uh, there's a forward here, the editorial viewpoint. And I I do always enjoy reading the editorial viewpoint. It's from 
uh, Nicholas Vinen, who is the uh, editor of uh, Silicon Chip Magazine, and he's announcing our new mini projects. So starting with this issue, we have a new section for the magazine, Mini Projects, sponsored by JCAR Electronics. You can think of this as somewhere between Circuit Notebook and our regular projects. The idea is that they will be simple, coming in at two to three pages each, with two or three in each issue. So um, he, he, he goes on and, um, and, and, and talks about how it's all going to work. And then um, he says that the, that the first three projects are JMP001, JMP003, and JMP004. And he said there is a JMP002, um, which will uh, appear in a future issue. So they're not going to come out uh, in serial numbers, which is fine. So the, the three uh, in this project, they said in this magazine, they said would start at page 60, which is up here somewhere. Oh, by the way, I think there's an ad in this magazine for... Uh, um, Electronics, there it is. There, this is the uh, Electronics Design and Assembly Expo, and it's on in Sydney on the 19th to 20th of June, which is next next Wednesday and Thursday. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there on the 19th of June. If you're there, you know, try and keep your eye out for me. Maybe I should wear my my uh, costume to the to the show. Maybe I will. Um. Anyway, so, so uh, yeah, good to know about electronics. Um, and uh, Dave Jones from the EV blog forum, he'll be there. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and get a photo with Dave Jones. Say hello to him. And uh, if Nicholas Vine is there, that would be a wonderful opportunity to say hello. Um, so, yeah, check it out if you're in Sydney uh, next week. Um, now, uh, let's jump up to page 60. Now this is the very first <coughs> mini project, mini project number one. Um, and it's a symbol keyboard. So uh, uh, we are already, this is, this is what they say, they say we're already using this mini project every day. It's easy to build and requires only a Leonardo board and a display shield. It's a symbol keyboard, allowing you to easily type symbols and other characters that don't appear on regular keyboards. What a cool idea. So, uh, <clears throat> it's based on the, uh, the Arduino Leonardo. Uh, I don't have one of those, um, so I'll need to get one uh, before I can do this uh, project. And the other part of it is the... Uh, the, the 2.8 inch color LCD touch screen. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be a slightly more expensive uh, one for me to do. So, uh, probably won't do that one first. I do intend to do it though. And then there's this one, the thermal fan control. Now, I'm pretty sure I have most of these. Uh, bits and pieces so this is probably the first one that we'll do together um, and and I suppose um, we've got to figure out the format I suppose uh, when I do it I'll just read out the instructions um, and then uh, and then uh, get all of the components I'll have most of this stuff in my drawers here um, and then uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make it together on the bench so I reckon the thermal fan control, that's the one that we'll do first. And then there's this cool one called the Wired Infrared Remote Extender. And this is the third um, project, uh, the third mini project. So um, it says, uh, infrared remote controls have been around for about 50 years, with TV being one of the first major applications. They are used in many fields, so components and modules for IR remote control systems are widely available. Here's how to use them to build an IR remote control extender. So what I was thinking it'd be cool to be able to do is um, to use the remote control around a corner. <laughs> so if I if I point it at my uh, at my door, it, it can go around the corner and maybe turn off the TV in the in the uh, in the TV room or something like that. 
So I think we'll do this one second. Infrared remote control, we'll do that second. And then we'll, we'll see when, when I get myself uh, the equipment that I need for this one, which is the uh, Leonardo. I don't have an, I have an Uno. This is my Uno. Um, and of course, these, uh, these ones from, uh, from JCAR are called uh, Duino Tech. They call them Duino Tech. They're not um, uh, original uh, Duinos. They're, uh, they're knockoffs. And that's what this is. I have a knockoff as well. So uh, usually they work fine. They're, they're uh, yeah, all pretty compatible. So um, yeah, that, that's that. Bring it back over here and get back in, <clears throat> in character. So um, today's video is just channel news, letting you know about the mini projects. Um, uh, I don't know when I'll get the first one done, but it'll be soon. Um, and, uh, and, and this is May, and so then there'll be a June issue as well. Um, and there'll be more mini projects. Actually, let me just check quickly. January, February, March, April. I don't think I've got my copy of uh, June. Don't think I've got June yet. Uh, so <laughs> we'll look forward to that. Anyway, we, we've got, we've got to start, we'll start with May. So, um, uh, yes. And super big thank you to my friends at Silic and Chip for... Uh, allowing me to use their circuits in my videos and um, uh, stay tuned and uh, see you soon.